Hello, my name is Sherilyn Marlowe, and I'm the liquid product specialist here at Yokogawa. And I just wanted to take a moment and go through the basic installation steps for our PR10 retractable. Um, our PR10 retractable does all product lines. It does pH, dissolved oxygen, contacting connectivity, and inductive connectivity. But the basic installation steps are the same. In your box, you'll have your PR10 assembly, the holder body. You'll have your process adapter, and you'll have your instruction manual kit that will include the cable relief, um, strain relief gland your locking screw, locking nut, it's your positioning where, how far you want to go down. The pH version, you will have the sensor tip holder, and then you'll have two Allen screws, and then you'll have an O-ring that you may or may not use in there as well. So the first thing that you want to do is, set the process adapter side for right now, is take your locking positioning screw and put it on since the PR10 is you know adjustable for whatever length you want you want to place this as to the point where your max insertion uh, screw or length is to tighten it down with the two Allen screws the large one that comes in the bag as well as the small one that comes in the bag there Okay, then you want to decide what type of sensor on the PH1 are you going to do. I'm going to unscrew the sensor holder tip. And now are you going to use a standard PG13.5 or are you going to use the old 12 millimeter style? If you use the old 12 millimeter style, um, and also first, there's two O-rings on the sensor tip that will have to be replaced every now and then. You have an O-ring here and you have an O-ring on the inside here. But you'll put the sensor in there. If you're using the old 12 millimeter style, you'll need to put the um, O-ring that comes in your bag on the back of the cable connection. And you're going to attach your cable to your electrode. Now, did it kind of backwards, but either way, it still works. You're going to need to take your leads and just for ease I have some scotch tape that I'm using um, you just want to tape the leads together to make it one saw lead it makes it easier for insulation and only on the regular old style 12 millimeter electrode are you going to feed your cable through the holder tip that comes in the instruction manual You're going to thread it onto the back side of this, and then you're going to thread your cable through the entire body hole. So, real quick, set this one aside and show you using just the PG 13 and a half because then the steps are the same going forward. So, take this one out and set it aside. If you're using the standard PG 13 and a half connection, you're just going to use the part that comes on the PR 10 body. Stick your pH electrode in, thread your PG connection in there, and then the same thing with your vario pin cable, and this one is a vario pin cable. You're going to again tape the leads together to make one saw lead for ease of installation for you. Right, you're going to feed your cable. Use that through the PR10 body. Alrighty. Then you're going to want to connect it to your sensor, or technically, you could connect it to your sensor first and then, you know, feed it through either way. But just like the other one with the PG3, or not the old style one. Once you feed the cable through, the sensor tip then just threads onto the body of the PR10 till it's nice and snug. And then you're going to take your cable strain relief gland. And this is why if you tape them together, it makes it a lot easier for installing this piece right here. Otherwise, the individual leads would get hung up in strain relief gland. Alright, stick it on. 
thread it onto the back of your PR10. And now your PR10 is ready for you to take this and your process adapter and go to your process line pipe where your ball valve is and install it. Okay, quickly we're going to go over the installation steps of your PR10 assembly into your process. In your bunks you'll have a process adapter. There's two different types of threads. There's an MPT thread and then there's a gas thread. The MPT thread goes into the ball valve. The gas thread goes into your PR10 assembly. The gas thread has a little bit of a solid lip so you know that that's the actual gas thread. But basically you will, your ball valve's in the off position, and you will thread the process adapter into your ball valve. Then you put your PR10 onto your process adapter, line up the notches on the T-handle and the nut, and thread the nut onto your process adapter to lock it on there. Why it's not catching. There we go. Okay, once it's locked and you can't turn it any further, you can then open your ball valve, push your PR10 assembly into your process until your max insertion depth. And then you'll take the locking screw and you'll lock it, tighten it into place. And then that basically keeps your PR10 so it can't go out any further. And that's your installation. Okay, now we're going to go over the basic steps for extraction of the process. The first thing you do is the locking nut. You'll actually unloosen it so that you can pull out the PR10 as far as you possibly can. So then you'll be able to pull the PR10 body into the ball valve until you can't go any further. Then you're going to turn off your ball valve. At this point, you'll be able to line up the notches on the T-bar and the T-nut, or the um, handlebar and the T-nut, and then unscrew it from the process adapter and retract your PR10 assembly from your process.